In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to create flashcards on PowerPoint for your students to work on different topics and skills in math, as well as how to create a task card for them to work on deep, more detailed problems. We're going to get started with a new blank page. If you want to know how to set up your pages on PowerPoint, check out any of my videos, numbers 1 through 15, in my 30 day back to school math resource challenge and I break down how to set up your page as well as when you're finished creating your printable how to save it and export it as a PDF so to create this first page we're going to start with a simple table so I'm going to go to insert table and then I'm going to have two columns and then four rows of those columns so this is the table that pops up so I'm going to go to table design and then go to the blank no style table and then switch my tab to the layout tab and increase the size of the cells all right so there is the base of our flashcards and then we're going to insert a text box to add in whatever content that you want your students to work on so we're going to create that text box and we're going to go to home to look at the font Let's go with my favorite Century Gothic gold and then we're going to center it and there is your flashcard so I'm going to duplicate that and move this over and make sure it's aligned and then I'm going to select the one I just did and the first one and I'm going to hit command D on my keyboard or hit control D if you have a PC I have a Mac and bring that down and make sure it's aligned and then hit command D again and then once more and I want to move these down slightly so I selected all of them just so I can bring them down now I'm going to go in and change the numbers so I did fours before let's do sixes and I didn't realize I wanted to switch to six so I definitely would recommend doing the first one as the six and then duplicating it so you don't have to change both numbers for each card and there you have your simple flashcards to practice multiplication. You can do the same thing with addition. So I'm going to insert a new slide here, the blank slide. You can do any of the operations. You can do shapes. You can do vocabulary words. It's not contained to math. You can do any subject, vocabulary and science. So. Actually, I'm going to take the ones that we just created and instead of creating a new slide I'm going to duplicate the slide that we have so I'm going to select that slide and then click um, right click it and go down to duplicate slide and we're just going to change these out to addition or we can do subtraction so if I wanted to do 10 minus a number font size so that they fit. I'm going to get rid of these down here instead of changing them individually and duplicate. Do the same thing that I did before. Command D on my keyboard. switched it from multiplication to subtraction again you can use flashcards for a variety of things now I want to do I want to turn my flashcards into task cards oh and let me show you how to change your lines to those perforated lines so if I select the table and I go to table design and we click on line 
and select whatever dotted perforated lines that you want and then click border and click all border your pen color is black and then go to all border and there are your dotted lines if you didn't like those choose the ones that you like Let's choose that one and then click all borders again so there we have our flashcards now we're going to create task cards same setup so I'm going to duplicate this page duplicate it I can create it. I could have created a new page but insert we're gonna go to insert and table and we're gonna do two columns of four again and then we're, let's go ahead and change our lines here click our let's do these lines this time these dashes and then again click all borders so now for what's inside I want to I'm gonna add in little text boxes for each part of the task card. So I want a title, one for my instructions, and then one for the actual question. So we're gonna go to insert, go to text box, and we're going to type in what we wanna call it. So we can just say task card number one. If you're doing these for groups, you can separate it by color, like blue group task cards or group number one task cards. So I'm gonna go to home and center that and make it bold and then switch the font. And you can add color here if you want. So task card number one, I'm going to duplicate that to write the instructions so that the task cards I'm creating are a determine the unknown number in the equation. And then I'm gonna take the task card one again to duplicate Control D or Command D to create my problem. So we can start off simple, four plus six equals seven plus blank. So they're balancing out those equations, making sure it's equal on both sides. So I'm gonna increase that, and then I'm gonna select everything in this box and group it together. I'm gonna right click and go to group, and then I'm going to duplicate that group or that text box. And then I'm going to select both. And then again, Command D to duplicate them. And then I'm just going to go through and change the numbers as well as change the problems. Okay, and here we have our final product of task cards one through eight. You can do a lot more. This is just to give you ideas on how you can create simple flashcards or task cards using PowerPoint. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in creating resources for your students with math.